recording. Can say you say. Well, again, I'm sure you've got yeah. a way of going about today. Yeah. So I'll. Yes. So I'll I was just going to wait for Laura's just trying to log on quickly through her computer. Then as soon as she gets on, I'll give you my rules and regulations. <laughs> We're used to your rules, Gil. <laughs> Managing our group. Managing our group. Managing our group. Oh, Hayley Nathan's about to come on. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So just to say so it's a lovely funny, day for the recording. Sorry? It's a lovely day in London today. It's pouring with rain, it's freezing cold, and it's the <laughs> middle of summer. <laughs> Just to let you all know, it's fantastic. As your new prime minister. Ah, well, a little bit early to tell, but we'll see. We'll see. Are you optimistic? Well, yeah, because the good thing is he's got a he's got a Jewish wife, and that yeah. that means a lot to me. That means a lot. Anybody who supports Israel has got my support. In my in my opinion. Anyway, where's Haley? <clears throat> Can't see her. Hello, and again, I just got a message say she was joining. You know, Zoom sent you that thing, so I'm just waiting to admit her. Haley Rubin Hello. not coming? She's, I've, I've told her. I've, told her she she was I've also told her she must join. So I've just mm. sent her a message now. She's out for lunch, but That's I Laura. just join. Okay. That's wonderful. Join at any time. Ha yeah. Haley came to visit me in Philadelphia. I know. Uh, a few months ago. She said it was amazing. She, she said, said it was, was incredible. Yes. Yeah. She said it was wonderful. All right. I think we should start. We're on 20. And then people come as they as they come, we'll, we'll let them on. My name is Gilla. I work for the King David Schools Foundation. Um so please don't speak when anybody else is speaking because it cuts off you know, when they speak, everybody's going to get two to three minutes to say something like where they are, what they're doing, their children, whatever you want to talk about, as long as it's nice for two to three minutes, a fun story, whatever you would like to talk about. And then I have a little presentation, which I put together with all your photos that you've been posting. And then Raylene, I just want to let Raylene, Raylene is going to say hello from a wet London. And we'll go back to everybody speaking. So I hope that you enjoy. And is would the Australians like to start speaking first? I'm scared I lose Michael. So maybe we should start with Michael. Yeah. And then Ari, because Ari's gonna pop off. And you have no idea how many years I've tried to see Ari. Hello, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael Siegerman, you're on. Uh, okay, that wasn't expected. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, um, uh, hello, everyone. It's lovely to see you all. Uh, it's been nice being back in contact through the WhatsApp group. Um, yeah, I'm here in Heathrow at the moment, about to fly off. Spend a lot of my time on airplanes and going from country to country. I live in Australia. Lived there for the last 14 years. Prior to that, um, I was living in Switzerland, in Geneva, 12 years. Um, I'm married to Nikki. She was Nikki Sosnovic. She was from Linksfield. Um, and uh, we have two kids, uh, 24 boys, 24 and 21, and my daughter is finishing school at nearly, nearly 17. Um, and um, uh, I spend a lot of time, as I said, traveling. I work um, for family offices and trusts, and um, uh, do a lot of uh, work in relation to philanthropy and funding and travel around the world dealing with those kind of issues. Um, a lot um, has happened since um, October 7th in that regard, and so that's kept me very busy. It meant that this year I've been traveling a hell of a lot more, so I've actually been out of Australia more than I've been in Australia so far this year. Um, and yes, it's, uh, I, I, think, I think I'm in touch with uh, uh, lots of people more directly. I'm not a big social media fan. In fact, I'm not a social media fan at all. 
So um, I'm not on Facebook or anything like that, but uh, when it, wherever I am, I'm, I'm visiting and seeing people from uh, from school or from our class, and it's uh, really great to be have the network and to be in touch with everybody. Um, I don't know what else uh, anybody else wants to maybe ask or something about. I can tell you, but uh, that's a synopsis of where I'm at. Thanks, Michael. Anybody want to ask him a question before I move on? Cool. Ari Amos, how badly did your... Um, the but is it just a bumper bashing or did she just, get sore? Just a bumper bashing. Anyway, that's 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 really fun. Uh, okay, so I uh, I live in Sydney, Australia. Uh, right now I'm probably I'm in a hotel room about an hour's hour and a half drive out of uh, uh, Melbourne. Um, so I've been in Sydney for the last uh, twenty five years. Prior to that, I lived in Hong Kong for about seven eight years, and I've spent quite a bit of time uh, living in Asia over and off actually for the last uh, twenty five years. Um, I've run, I've got a, uh, import distribution business. Um, um, I spent, uh, prior to COVID, you spent a lot of time in China. Um, my wife's from Pretoria, so I've got, uh, I've got a head office in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got 0600 hours every morning, uh, with brown pants and brown shoes, if you can appreciate that. Um, <laughs> with three kids, uh, Zim, Zim, why are you laughing? Cause you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know your sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Flown over everyone else. Um, I got three kids. Uh, I see you learn quite a bit uh, in Sydney. Uh, 20, uh, 25, 23, 22, and, and 18. So I've got my youngest is in uh, HSC or matric. So it's uh, the last lap for me. Um, and that's it. I'm I kind of, uh, I'm not in social media at all. Um, no, not too social, but not antisocial, kind of, kind of, sort of very self-involved at work and uh, and at home. So that's it. That's my story. Nothing, nothing major to report. I did have lunch with him, what about two weeks ago? No, last weekend. It was last weekend? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And that's it. You, yeah, Ari, Elan, how are you? Tell us about where you're up to, what you're doing. Uh, very well, thanks, and thanks for putting this uh, evening together. It's lovely. Uh, so um, I, I, I live in Sydney and um, have uh, three children, 25, 20, uh, son of 25, daughter of 22, and a boy of 18 in his final year of school, matric. Um, my best friends are my school friends still, which is a testament to the school we all went to. I uh, see uh, Ari a lot. I see Michael Sieg's a lot. Uh, Russell Pillimer, um, Timmy Greenstein, um, a few others. Um, so it's a bit of a Ken David reunion going on here. There's tons of South Africans. It's really a good place to live, Sydney. Um, another um, story about sort of the strength of the connection is uh, when I was... <clears throat> In Israel two years ago, I ended up having a heart attack, a cardiac arrest on the soccer field, playing in the Maccabea Games. And um, Michael Siegerman phoned Rail Sunday, who I hadn't, I hadn't seen Rail Sunday or spoken to Rail Sunday pretty much since the school days. And the next thing, he was the first guy to pop into my hospital room in, in Israel, in um, Herzliya. And he looked after me beautifully for about three weeks. So wow. that's a story about just the networks that we created at that school and the friendships that we all formed at that school, which was just a beautiful school to ever, to attend. That's pretty much me. Thanks, Elan. That's amazing. It really is the connection of the King David family is like, you can't explain it. I mean, I never went to King David. I come from a little dorpy, but just that whole connection, it's a it's a family, it's not a connection. Dan, don't you want to please turn your camera on? It's like weird looking at just a name. I'm gonna ask Barbara to say hi because she's got a pop off. Hello, Dan. There we go. Hi, Barbara, everybody. Say hi, hi before you have to run. 
Yeah, hi everybody. So sorry about it, but I have to run soon because I've got lunch already. Oh, I need to uh, use that. So. What? No, no, it's cool. I'm... I've muted him. Carry on. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so as as you m might have guessed by now, I live in London. Um, I'm married to the most wonderful um man. His name is Michael Freed. He comes from Durban, and he is Natalie's um brother. That's Natalie Mayers, who Gaby was talking about so um just I've got, I've got a, a lovely I'm married into a gorgeous family um I've got two boys one is 28 going on 29 he's uh, in his final years of medicine I've got another one who's 25 he is um he's done computer science um life here is pretty much as normal it's it's up it's got its ups and downs um, we live through stresses and strains and good times. Um, and it's good to see everybody because I don't keep in touch with many people other than um, uh, Haley Rubin, really, and and uh, Jody a while ago, Jody uh, Barilovitz. So it's lovely to see people. And it's lovely to see people when I go to South Africa. I've seen Lara there, I think, once or twice. I've seen Rochelle, which has been just special. It's been wonderful. I'd love to see you all. And if you come to the UK, please, can you look me up? Please, can you come and contact me, make an arrangement, and let's go out for lunch somewhere. Lovely to have seen Stan as well. Stan, are you there, Stan? Yes, he's there. He's just hardly talking. Anyway. Guys, giving you a thumbs up. <laughs> good, 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 good. Anyway, it's lovely to see everybody. That's all I can say. Jody, do you want to say hi? Sure. Hi, everybody. It's, um, I'm also not big on social media, but um, when I do go on or when I'm you know, in South Africa, it's always lovely, lovely to connect with everybody. While you, I'll just, by way of introduction, um, when I finished school, I, I went off and studied psychology and got an honours in psych. I sort of studied legal theory in my undergrad, and boy, oh boy, have I put all those skills to use in parenting. Um, I've got two uh, gorgeous girls. My oldest is 29. Her name's Leora, and I've got a younger daughter, Gabby, and um, my daughter, Leora, is in advertising. She's an art director, and my youngest, Gabby, is gorgeous. She really teaches me what's really important in life, and she has her challenges. Um, you may know that she has a disability, but we're doing everything we can to help her be the best version of herself. And as I say, the simple things in life and what really matters is what I learned from Gabby. And through her, I've met so many amazing, amazing people. Um, and we brought her, them into her life. Um, and we've I lived in Cape Town for two years before... Um, I met my husband at the one and only Habonim camp I did when I was 17. And sort of three years later, we got together and I moved to Cape Town for two years. And we've been in Australia since 1991, just shortly after we married. So I didn't have much adult life in South Africa. Um, and we've come to Australia where we came to some family. Barry, uh, I married a Cape Townian. My husband's name is Barry Zuckerman. And my children know his parents they immigrated 10 years after we came across so at least they've had some grandparents but they that they've grown up with but we travel as much as we can to, back to South Africa to visit my family and thank God I've maintained very very close connections with my siblings and with my cousins and the, my total my whole extended family which you may remember is quite large and most of them are still in South Africa um, not in Victory Park, but living close by each other. So thank God they still got a great security network amongst themselves. And we've, uh, Barry's got a lot of friends from Cape Town and school buddies who, who live here as well. I'm in close contact with Chantel uh, Monty, Chantel Clemenson, and she and her husband have been amazing support to us, as well as other friends. And I must just remember, I, I need to, while you were talking, Elan, I was remembering, yeah. darling, Peter Reichman, because Pete's daughter yes. and my daughter, Gabby, were at school together. And I remember, Elan, coming out of a Mariah School AGM meeting when the kids were in 
middle school or something. And I think maybe Russell and maybe Peter as well got uh, voted onto the the board of Mariah. And Pete came out of the meeting like a mischievous little boy. And he said, do you think we can get the King David hamburgers onto the, the tuck shop menu here at Mariah? And he plucked himself laughing because that was a highlight of school. But Pete was a fabulous guy. I see his wife and his kids. They, they've grown up. They are. Well, especially his oldest son, Adam, is, is in the workforce. His daughter's lovely, dating a lovely guy. And I miss Pete, and I saw his wife, Nikki, recently. And, yeah, I really, really miss him because we used to see quite a lot of, not socially, but in, you know, in round, round and about. And he was a great guy to have uh, in Sydney. So at any stage, if any of you come to Sydney, please look us up. We'd love to connect with you all. And, yeah, and yeah, I miss absolutely. my buddy from the school days. I really, it would be great to to connect. And I'm sorry I don't call anyone when I'm in town. It's just, uh, we have a challenging traveling with our daughter. And that's how it is. But um, just great seeing you. And please God, there's peace in the world. And strong Israel. And may there be hope and optimism for us all. We need it. Thanks, Gila, for organizing. Only a pleasure. Rail, are you looking at your computer? Because I want to show you my video before everybody has to jump off. I'm looking at my computer, yeah. Thank okay. you. All right, I'm going to share my screen. Mm. Hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. One secky. Okay, here goes.
Oh, beautiful. Amazing. Stunning. Absolutely. Well done, That was beautiful. Thank you. Wonderful. Thanks. 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 I'm now going to introduce you to Raylene Trodotsky, who runs the foundation. As everyone has three minutes, so does she, and I time her. So if she gets carried away, I shall mute. Hello, Ray. Love and adore. Hello, Ray. Hello, everybody. So it's a little bit um, noisy here. Can you all hear me? Gail, can you hear me? Mm. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Okay, guys, so it's so exciting to be talking to this year because it's the same my year, but uh, Victory Park. I'm from Linksfield. So I recognize so many faces here. Hello, Rail. Hello, Ev. Hello, Rock. Uh, it's, just, it's just amazing to see all these faces. Um, okay, Gila, who you heard Gila say, it's going to be short and sweet, and I promise because I can see speaking. Raylene, your, your signal's terrible. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Should I go? Should I go to hotspot rather? Just let me I think so. Oh, now, now you sound fine. Okay. Yeah, now you sound fine. Ray, if you're in a hotel, oh, rather okay. go into a hotspot. If you're in a hotel, rather go into a hotspot. Okay, let me rather go into a hotspot. Uh, mobile hotspot. That Alone, I'm so glad you managed to get on. I'm so relieved. I'm somewhat relieved too. <laughs> I was eventually going to use my phone and I phone you and <laughs> stare away. <laughs> All good, all good. That's better. So that's my mark. Better. Can you see better? Tiny bit. Okay, let's try. Okay, let's start for those of you who don't know me with an Indian. I'm really in to dance. Raylene, put your video off and let's see if it's better. We lost her. Yeah, clearly that wasn't the right suggestion. No, Ray Jack, it was a bad idea. <laughs> so I tried. You, you tried. You tried. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for her to log back on, Stanley, why don't you say hi and tell us what you're doing? No, no, you muted. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm just sorry. Um... So most of you know that I left King David in 1981. I moved to Canada with my whole family. And um, 
to make a long story short, I got married in Canada, have kids in had kids in Canada, and then decided to move to Israel. So now I live in Jerusalem in Israel. I have one son, I have five kids, of which one son is still in Canada. He's doing a residency in ophthalmology. I have a daughter in Australia in Melbourne who is finishing up her degree in veterinary medicine. And I have three boys in Israel who are between Miliwim and the army right now. Um, so it's been an interesting experience. Uh, I've never quite had three kids in the army all at the same time. Uh, spread uh, through both the south and the north of Israel. Uh, so that's that's a bit about me. Uh, my wife is a pediatrician. I met her in Canada. Her name is Sherry. Barbara has met her before. And um, I work in Jerusalem at Shreit Sedek Hospital, and I still continue to do the things that I enjoyed in South Africa. I still do a bit of rock climbing occasionally. I do a lot of hiking. Um and I've done a lot of camping, and I do woodworking, and that's pretty much me. What about basketball? You were, you were the sort of secret weapon in our basketball team, if I recall. Not quite. My, my, my kids are, are far better than me, and all my kids were captains of basketball teams in Canada, so they, they got something that I never had. <laughs> so, But they, uh, yeah, they're all captains of the team. You were the they, tall guy in the players. team. <laughs> Sorry? You were the tall guy in our, in our King David I was the tall team. guy. No, I, my, <laughs> most of my kids are taller than me. Then so I can hear, what kind of doctor are you? Anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist. Good to see yes. you, Yeah, so, was... good, you, Jody. It's been, so it's been actually really fun meeting people this way because I'm not a big social media person. Um... Most of my social media I do through Magin David Adom, who I who I sit on the national board, and um, so that's my national my exposure to 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 social media. I'm not a big social media person, so this has been a great experience. I've been connect reconnecting with people that I haven't spoken to in a long time, and it's actually been a fantastic experience. And uh, and even more fantastic is meeting some of the my ex classmates here in Israel, which has been a great experience. And it's just great reconnecting with everybody again. Yep. Raylene, are you back? Raylene? Uh-oh. Raylene, can you hear us? Me. I can hear you, but I'm not sure I have to able to make it. Or can you hear me? Okay, so I'm going to do Raylene's spiel. I'm not sure if you know that Raylene was let actually me, a subsidy student. Get up, get okay, up. I was, I I was going to do your whole... I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, so while Raylene's connecting to her phone, Stuart, please tell us what you do. I know that you've done some amazing stuff with medicine and whatever. Um, I'll just tell you about myself rather, I think. Um, <laughs> Too modest. Uh, yeah, I've been in Israel since 1989. Um, I, also, I think I lost touch with everybody as soon as I started uh, my studies at Vets. And then I left immediately afterwards. I lost touch with everybody. I haven't been in touch with almost anybody, I think. I saw Haley Rubin a few times in the very early days and then never again until last year. Um, I got three kids, uh, three boys, um, one 26, um, 23, and one 15 year old. Um, one's living in London, one's living here, and one's still at home. Um, and yeah, I, I work. I sort of work in the medical device field. I've always sort of been in that field, um, working in whatever augmented reality, orthopedics, that type of thing. That's me. That's you. <laughs> and yeah, it's lovely to see you all. I mean, it's. Uh, I know that uh, we were on this WhatsApp group, which kind of exploded, um, but. Um, it's nice seeing everybody, and I have seen, I know I've seen Lara once or twice, I've seen Haley once or twice, and it's always nice to see anybody whenever it happens. It doesn't happen very much, uh, even though I do go back to South Africa. I, go, I mean, all my family is still there, and 
I go back um, once every two or three years. But usually I never see anybody and it's kind of in and out just to see the family and it's always very compressed. So, but yeah, it's always nice. You had my little nephew whose five is at Waverly Nursery School and he came to me and he said to me, my teacher knows you. And I'm like, okay. He said, her name's Melissa. <laughs> You're so uh, excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's still my connection to King David, Melissa, mm -hmm. my, my. My, my sister, my youngest sister, Melissa, is a grade, whatever, grade zero grade uh, R. teacher. Yeah, grade R. My little nephew, Silas, age five, delicious. If you mention her name, those cheeks go so red and he gets like, oh, googie on. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. Raylene, last chance, Raylene. Okay, last I'm going to do my phone. I hope you can all hear me. Okay. So I just want to introduce myself. I'm Ray Introduncy. I run the King David Schools Foundation. Um, and the exciting thing for me, this is my year. So I reckon I'm any of you faces and welcome. Um, I just want to thank Gil, colleague Gila Glazer, because although these reunions seem um, just to three hours worth, there's, there's enormous amounts of time and effort and energy that goes into putting them together. So a huge shout out, Gila, my PA, my right hand. Thank you, Gil, for making these things happen. Um, and then just why do we do reunions? So for those of you who don't know, um, we hold reunions um, for people out of school 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Um, and it's me, they get more exciting as you get further away from school. And we've just Sorry, had our first my 60 two... year reunions. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. No, no, I was just going to say, we've just had our, our 60 year reunions, which is quite a milestone. Um, people that are 78 and by far and away this was so I know Rochelle commented that there's not that many of us on this trust get to see it seems that everybody alive comes in and registers okay but so why do we do these reunions one is for networking to reek at least she's not in Joburg. It's her Wi-Fi in London. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia, do you want to talk to us while we're trying to get her back? Just, okay, London's sure. just another third world country, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really delighted to see everybody. It, it really is nostalgic and amazing. And that WhatsApp group has been a wonderful trip down memory lane. Um so I um, married Harold Jacobs. I went to live in Pretoria for 18 years and had two children, Jonathan and Kayla. And um, then we moved back to Johannesburg. Jonathan, well, he's studied engineering. He has, he, we said before, he works with Davy's daughter. And my daughter, Kayla, actually works at King David Ariel. She's a remedial teacher. So that's actually very, very special. And I have continued, I don't know if any of you remember, but I was always in dancing and I have continued to do that and have just a special passion for teaching little girls to dance from three to six. I'm absolutely fascinated with these little girls and how close their Nishoma actually is to Hashem. So, um, yeah, I feel privileged also to deal with a, a lighter side of life um, I think it really is a privilege, although I'm very connected to all that, that's going on in the world um, and find it extremely heartbreaking. Just in my choice of, of um, career, it, it's really kept me and um, I feel privileged to, to be doing that. And thank you to Gilla, to Raylene for organizing this. I do, you know, it's just been beautiful. So thank you so much. And I look forward to hearing all of your stories. Thank you. This is now becoming like a routine. Somebody will speak. Raylene. <laughs> now Raylene again. Raylene, don't turn your camera okay. on. Oh, okay, maybe that's the on. Okay, even better. So let me just um, finish this story, guys. I really do apologize for this. Um, I thought the Wi-Fi in London was 
but it looks like it's as bad as they wear for summer. But, um, okay, so why do we do reunions? We do, well, ostensibly to reach and network people, and we've got some incredible stories, as Ilan um, uh, uh, shared, power of David Deleuze and networking. But much more importantly, um, is to try and raise funds for King David. Why do we to raise funds? Because what you may or may not know is that five of our alumni today no longer live in South Africa. Only 35% of the Jewish community remain. And so what has happened is that it's a much smaller, of course, and poorer um, community. We we have a situation where much of the tent and much of the wealth of our beautiful Johannesburg community and what we hold it unfortunately has an increase in one of which um right <laughs> so should we carry on with the tradition <laughs> if you're there on we the go board, again how are you? she's gone again <laughs> um hi everybody i'm great lovely to be here um i have to agree with everything that Nadia said, that it has been so um, stunning reconnecting with the group, um, the reminiscences, the nostalgia, the relationships. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely gorgeous. So thank you. Um, I live in South Africa still, um, most likely four kilometers from King David Victory Park. We live in Hyde Park. My, um, I've been married to my husband, Clive, for 33 years. And he is also the most beautiful, wonderful man. Very lucky to have four blessed children. And all four of them went to King David Victory Park. They started in play school and each one of them ended matric there. Um, so my life has been very, very connected to the school and to the community. Um, I spent, what, 12 years or so on the Board of Jewish Education. So I dedicated a lot of my life to, to the school and to the community. Um, Professionally, I had a, a wonderful career in corporate finance and it was amazing. And then I decided to do a radical switch and I became an artist. And I'm now um, yeah, an exhibiting artist. I've just come back from Zimbabwe. I spent three weeks painting there on the residency. And yeah, it's amazing. So living close to home, it's, my life is rooted and grounded. And then I can go and do these like flights of fantasy and do these amazing, wonderful things. And I feel very blessed just in every respect. So I think King David gave us a grounding and a foundation and a rooting and um, I don't know, love of, love of life and a love of the world that just surpasses anything that I think I could have got anywhere else. So blessings. And you didn't say you're still part of the board, so you see you not sometimes? Any, not anymore. My son, anymore. the last Batco is out of King David. I think I worked out 39 years of my life <laughs> at King David, but we've now graduated finally. We're very slow. Um, <laughs> yeah, kids are, um, the baby's uh, fits in his, well, he's not a baby. He's 19 and a lot taller than me and very strong and muscular. So he's definitely not a baby, but he's a bit I call my little one also a baby, and she's also 19 now. So when she finished last year, I'm like, I've been at uh, King David 15 years. Like, who am I? <laughs> well, well, it was so. a thing leaving school because, as I said, 39 years of my life were invested in that community. And it's very weird the day you realize that that's ending. And I was talking to my husband about, you know, like um, the, how that whole connection's breaking and then about – Three days later, you connect me back onto this WhatsApp group, and I said to him, "See, Victory Park is still there." <laughs> so that's yeah, it's been wonderful. It is special. I've been living through my kids because, as I said, I didn't get to go to King David. So, Rochelle, tell us what you're up to. Okay, hi everybody. Um, great to be here and really stunning to connect with everybody. I do still connect with quite a few people from our year. Um, Laura, Laura, even though we haven't seen each other much, but we like we neighbors. Okay. Uh, Tammy Eisenberg, Nadia, Haley Rubin. So I see quite a few people. Um, so it's really great. Yeah, we had we had good times back in '84. Um, so I'm still living in Joburg. I. I've got, I'm married to Errol Bayhack. I've got two children, 
both of them are in Cape Town, age 29 and 24. Uh, Sean, my oldest son, is the restaurant manager for Cavalli Wine Estate. So he's been in Stellenbosch for seven years. And then Jamie's doing graphic design in Cape Town. Um, I've got my own event management company. I do corporate events, uh, which I've been doing since 1999. So I'm in my 25th year. Like it feels like a, a lifetime. It actually is a lifetime. Yeah, so... That's me really in a nutshell, just still here, guys. So if you ever come to South Africa or you ever um, need a place to stay or anything, if your your family aren't around, just give us a call. We're here for you. That's me. Oh, thank and Gil, you. thank you. Gil, yeah. thank you for putting this together. Pleasure. Pleasure, Stunning. pleasure. Well pleasure. done. Pleasure. And the WhatsApp group, well done. <laughs> um, did you just see that? Oh, I don't know if he sent it personally. Russell says that he's in a plane flying somewhere over Germany because of some soccer or something. So he's going to try and log on when the plane takes off nicely. Natalie? Oh. Oh. Do you want to say hi? Sorry, my dog oh, there we go. Just excuse that, sorry. So, yeah, I've been living in Mozambique in Maputo for since 2003. Uh, uh, yeah, a long time here. And, um, and I've got a tour business, uh, like an inbound tour operator. No, not you, not you. Sorry. My know. dog can hear your dog, so now she's barking. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, so I've been living here and I, my, I've got two boys, uh, Jordan and Gabriel. They're almost 24 and 25 in the next month or so. And they both just finished, they just graduated university in San Diego. So we miss them a lot. And, um, yeah, it's been great. I saw Stanley and Rail in Israel earlier this year when I was visiting my mom. And I hope I'll see them again in August when I go back to visit her. And um, yeah, life's, life's very good. But uh, it's been a bit hard without family here. And my kids growing up without grandparents. But we've got a beautiful synagogue here, um, a minute community. Um, and yeah, we sometimes get visitors, we get um, people coming from a lot of U.S. embassy Jewish people, so they join our community for three or four years. But it's a very transient um, community, you know. But life is good here. Very good. That's me. My sister loves the tour you organise in Mozambique, Nat. <laughs> good. Great. And thanks, Gila, for organizing this. It's been amazing. The reunion and the WhatsApp and everything. Gila, you're on mute. We can't hear you. Now, Wanda, Natalie didn't hear my question. Natalie, yeah. is um, Rabbi Sobohoft ever come up? Yeah, he does occasionally. And, I adore um, that man. <laughs> yeah. And we sometimes get Chabad coming here. We had a place up with about 65 people for glut wow. kosher uh, Seder in the shul. They came from New York and the chickens came from Moishe's or one of the places in Joburg. And it's a, you know, we don't have kosher food here for anyone who does come. So it's, and we are far too small to have a resident rabbi. But occasionally Chabad come. And the rabbi does come from time to time. And oh, wow. the and Anne Harris was instrumental in and the rabbi getting us back our Torah um, because it was taken away when the war was going on here, when the synagogue was taken over by the Red Cross. Um, and the American ambassador at the time and the Greek consul, they were um, instrumental in getting the shul back to us. And oh, wow. our, our synagogue, is, our community is called the Honen Jalim um, community, and we have a magnificent shul. And in fact, when my older son had his bar mitzvah here, they, we had to do a huge renovation on the shul. We thought it was just the roof. But when they took the roof off, they realized that the whole building was unsound. So the instead of a $25,000 renovation, it was 130000 But somehow we managed to get the funding. 
and they finished painting the shul on the Friday of his bar mitzvah. So the guy who ran the service said, please, nobody touch the walls. They still went. But we had 125 people in the shul for our family from yeah. overseas. And it was oh, incredible. wow. My, 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 folks, son. my folks have just been to Mozambique. They absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's a fantastic place. It really is. Really? Okay, so this is being copy and utterly embarrassing. Every time someone speaks, I threaten to speak. So please forgive me. I will not do my introduction again. I'll just go straight into it. <laughs> okay, so I do what I do because for, for those of you who don't know, and my story is getting a little bit rusty, but mm -hmm. I was a subsidy kid. I was somebody who had my education paid for at King David. Um, I had five magnificent years. I then went on to get a scholarship for university. I became a chartered accountant. And my first job out of articles was with a small little tea company who by the time I left 20 years later was four and a half thousand people and we'd listed in London and I felt very strongly that my education had played an enormous part in my in my um, in my future life um, and so one day when I got a call from Elliot Wolf at the time to say you know um, we'd like you to come and think about running the foundation um, it was, you know, why are you talking to me? But I always say on paper, I had ticked a lot of the boxes. Um, I'd been a subsidy kid. I had loved my time at King David. Um, I had become an accountant. And importantly, I was in the world of fundraising as I only have one sibling with special needs. So I took on the role primarily to, to help give others the opportunity that I had had. But importantly, because what we noticed is that the demographics in South Africa were changing dramatically because because so many have emigrated, we understood that it would be a smaller and, and poorer community that was left behind and that we needed to look after our community and importantly to ensure that other people got the privilege, because it really is a privilege of a King David education, irrespective of whether or not their parents were able to afford it. So... Fast forward 10 years, I have made um, a business of going around the world. I'm currently in London, you heard, and meeting with alumni, wonderful, wonderful people who believe, like I did, that the, it, their education played a part, in, a part in what they have since become. And my ask is always the same. If you had the privilege of a King David education, and if you are in the wonderful position to now give back, will you help us school other children? So to give you an idea, school fees today are 190,000 rand a child, or roughly about ten thousand um, dollars. It's about eight thousand Brit, you know, pounds, um, depending on where I am. I've got to remember the currency, but, but, but it's a lot of money for middle class um, South African parents, particularly if you have two and three kids out of school. So I'm going to end saying, um, if there is someone on this call who would like to, um, who would like to make a contribution, either a full scholarship, a small monthly debit order, no amount is too small every amount is is gratefully and gladly accepted and in almost all places in the world where our alumni live we have tax deductible facilities so we can give you the section 501c3 in america we can do it in london we've even managed to recently be able to do it out of israel certainly australia and of course the section 18a in south africa so if there's anyone on the call that wants to reach out to me um is feels that they um have that connection and want to give back please do um to either me or Gila. i'm not going to come on again i promise um but i'm going to love and leave you and hope you enjoy the rest thanks a million Cheers and thanks again to Gila. Thanks, Raylene. Speak later. Okay, Rail Sandy. Yeah, can you hear me? Hear me? See me? Oh, yeah, I'm just staying. I'm, I'm just staying on for you, Rail, and then I'm going. Yeah, a lot of women say that, but that's okay. Anyway, um, so um, right, we live in Israel now. I married uh, my arch rival, I would say, probably from Yeshiva College, uh, Suzanne Cohen. She was the same year as us. Uh, we met at a uh, King David Shabbaton where we had a huge argument over running through sprinklers on Shabbat. Uh, and we haven't stopped arguing since. We stopped briefly when uh, Michelle Gershlowitz uh, introduced us, got married, and then we started arguing. And we've been doing that for 30 years. We, uh, we've moved around the world 
quite a lot, uh, running away from one tax authority after the other. We went to Canada, we were there for a few years, uh, came to Israel, we were here for a few years, went to the States for 14 years and came back to Israel nine years ago. Um, and yeah, we've been very, very, we're very, very happy here. Um, my Most of my family lives here. My brother's been here for, I don't know, almost 20 uh, something years already. My parents made Aliyah about 11 years ago. They live just out uh, in Latanya, very close to where Ilan Zim was at the time. Uh, my dad passed away about a year and a half ago. So my mom, yeah, on her own now here, but uh, she's got support. And um, yeah, this group has been amazing. First of all, thanks to Gila uh, for organizing it and uh, to Raylene for, you know, really wanting to keep keep a school like this going. I think maybe living out of the country, you get very nostalgic. Um, and maybe you see the school through rose colored, colored glasses. But for me, it was an amazing, amazing school with just such incredible possibilities and opportunities and something that I didn't think, I don't think my kids uh, had that where the, wherever they were, whether it was, was in St. Louis in Missouri, maybe because it was St. Louis, um, or being here in Israel. So it's a remarkable school and uh, it's great, great memories um, and really great to reconnect to people. I mean, I've always been very friendly with Jody and Michelle, you know, through through life without the WhatsApp group and through the WhatsApp group here, um, Stuart and I have kept in touch sort of on and off over the years and definitely much, uh, you know, much more now since the WhatsApp group um, was created. So uh, it's it's just remarkable. We're, you know, it's good to see, it's good to see old friends and it's good to be, you know, anchored to things that are, that bring, that bring back warm memories. I mean, we're living in very dystopian, scary times really every day, yeah. And um, yeah, you know, it's. Uh, I think it's it's somewhat having an anchor, um, reconnecting, reconnecting with the past, and happier times is, a, is an amazing thing. So um, yeah, and uh, you know, the, the the connections go deep. Just I think as an aside, I think I was in Joburg for about two days or something on route from back from a wedding, and I sort of made the time just just to you know to 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 emphasize the connections. To actually spend in my my time in Joburg, and my 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 kids and wife went shopping, and I took the car and I went to visit uh, Jody's parents, and I went to visit Stuart's parents because you know I felt that there's that still that connection over the years. So uh, it's uh, it, it's even though we don't see each other that much, um, still those connections run very deep. So anyway, that's pretty much. Oh, I suppose I have to say I actually am a physician. Yeah, I deal. And like Nadia, I deal with the darker side of life, not the lighter side of life. So I work in an ICU. So it's a lot of that is sort of end of life stuff, very sad. Um, but we do what we can do. And um, so that's that's what I do. Thanks, Rail. And you live in Renana Fontaine, did you say? Yeah, yeah, we live in Renana. And actually, lots of people are <laughs> around the corner from, uh, from, from Natalie's mom. Um, Dafka. So uh, I saw Natalie. It was great. And a lot of people come through Ranana. Um, I'm, I see Mike Siegerman quite a bit. We've met a few times here in Ranana. So it's great. We have an amazing, amazing community. I mean, it's just Ranana for the Jewish life in Ranana is absolutely amazing. It's it's quite a remarkable place. And um, it's a soft landing. It's kind of between Israel and Kutzlaret. So some, somewhere straddles the line between there. You can get by with actually no Hebrew if you want to be honest here. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. We've got a great community. So thank God, you know, we're very, very happy. Um, you know, on a personal level, we're very, very happy here. Yeah, because hey, these times are just tough times in Israel. So, um, but we'll get through it and um, we'll come out for the better. Yep. Amen. Michelle, how are you? Hi, everyone. Hi, so I live in Johannesburg um, in this amazing Jewish community. It is, it's just phenomenal, the people that are here, the community that we still have in Johannesburg. Um, obviously, we all worry about what's going on in Israel, but we have a very close, unique Jewish community here. Um, I'm married with three kids. Uh, a son of 24 who please God's getting married in January a daughter of 21 and then a little one well not so little she's 15 
Um, haven't really been involved in the King David, uh, in the King David environment. My we in Glen Hazel, so my kids go to Yeshiva College. Um, I'm very very fortunate. I still have both my parents. Um, my three sisters all live in Glen Hazel. All the children, nieces, nephews, we are all still in Johannesburg. We live a kilometer radius from one another. We see each other all the time. We spend a lot of time together, especially on Shabbos. So we are very, very fortunate. And thank God when we all together, we are 21 of us all together. And... I love living in Johannesburg. I love living in South Africa. Yes, we've got our challenges, um, but I think everybody does, and we live a good life here and wouldn't want to go anywhere else, especially not that my whole family lives here. And, yeah, that's it. I see I'm still quite in touch with, like Rail said, I'm in touch with Rail. Um, I'm in touch with Natalie and Jody Berelovitz. I see she's in Alaska. She's quite uh on so she's quite spends quite a bit of time on social media um yeah that's who i see and in january when or january february when we met up with everybody it was just wonderful to see everybody who stood in johannesburg i mean i do occasionally bump into the odd person here in johannesburg that we were at school with uh some i never bump into but yeah thank god everybody's good thank you Gaby, hi. Hi. Um, hi. Well, so firstly to you, thank you for all the organizing and to my friend Raylene, um, just for everything that she does. And Ray, you are remarkable. Um, it was quite weird for me because when I was watching the video, there are so many photos that um, where I wasn't at the school. So I went to Rosebank Government School. I was then in London at an all girls, quite a prim and proper school. And I arrive at King David on the first day and the teacher walks into the classroom and I jump up and say, good morning, ma'am. And with that, the whole class burst out laughing. So that was after we, my sister and I took the King David Linksfield bus instead of the Victory Park bus to school on the first day. So I think that, um, yeah, King David initially was a, cu a culture shock. It was an incredible experience and a very shaping experience. And um, so much about that and I think what shapes all of us are the friendships that we've made and how we've grown together through everything in life. So I have some very, very dear friends, some are on the call, some who aren't. And um, it's just amazing, like the, the circles and the cycles. So my kids, um, Gemma is 28. She's um, with Nadia Sang there. She's an actuary at Discovery. Um, Joshua lives in Israel. He's in venture capital. Um, Joshi gets married end of September. Gemma gets married end of December. And my baby is off to study um, in Rhode Island, um, near Boston, in a month's time. So our lives are pretty much all over the place, um, but all good things. And I don't know what else. So professionally, I have a um, leadership development and executive coaching practice. I absolutely love my work. It really feels like a, a calling, a passion. And um, yeah, do feel very blessed in that space. And I married Greg Waxman um, from Linksfield. And we've been to uh, our 30th wedding anniversary in a month's time. So I don't know, I feel like I'm just waffling now, so I'm going to stop. So I'm not seeing you so often at school anymore. Our girls were together. Well, you know that. <laughs> um, Mazel tov David on your 30th. Cron Thank you. That's great. David Kramer, are you still on? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Can you not see me? No. Oh. Shall I try that? 
out my video. And it says Good I can't because the host has disabled it. No. Let me ask you to start, see what happens. I can hear David. I hear David. I can hear you. You can hear me but can't see me. That's probably better like that. Now we can okay. see. There, there we go. We can see you. Hello, David. Hi. Um, thank you so much for organizing. And it was very interesting to be on the WhatsApp group. Um, I've been in Melbourne now 25 years. I married Michelle, was Schlom from uh, Linksfield. And um, my older sister, my wife, my younger sister, their reunions have not been like this, uh, this class, when I reflect on that. And I don't know what it is about specifically our year um I'm, i was just always very um founded a very um strong year in terms of i don't know i don't know what it is but anyway i really appreciate it i really appreciated being there and um i still was i was the nerd i was always still the nerd i do i'm an engineer so that's just a condition that i have when you have a condition you spend time with other people with the same condition um i have uh uh, three beautiful children. My daughter's got two sons, seven-year-old and a and a two-year-old. And my middle son just uh, went to Israel. When you find out what he's doing, please let me know. I think he's going to look for yeshiva or something. My younger son, um, as many of you now know, was in the paratroopers and uh, on last uh, he came back for six months after he'd finished his training. And then on the 9th of October, when he started getting tickets, he took the next plane back to join his team. Uh, he's now just got a security job and training job, waiting for his call up to do whatever he's doing next. And um, I really appreciate uh, Rail and many other people on the call have also got kids in or are in service themselves. And, um, you know, that that connection, I felt a little bit peculiar here because without many of the people here, you, you connect differently with with kids in that situation. So it was very, very stressful and still is. Um, and uh, what else? Um, I'm still in touch with many friends from from uh, from from our school, uh, Mark Fraden, uh, Paul Gamble, his uh, son and my son, best of friends from school. They got to school together. I see Mandy Dembo from time to time. I was Mandy Cohen. I bumped into her in, the, in Coles. Um, her son was in, in school with mine. Uh, Avi, when I saw him, Avi Kaplan, I don't know if he's on the call now, his son was at Yeshiva with my son. So these connections are all around. Um, uh, who else? Uh, Alon, of course, uh, Evan, and uh, now touching base with all of you and, and Rail very kindly and seeing him when I went in to Israel earlier this year. So really phenomenal and uh, well done for all your connections and for all the successes that you've had and the challenge that you've had in life and uh, wishing you all um, good things and we'll meet soon in uh, Israel, all of us. Uh, it seems Amen. like the world is uh, turning over fast, so we'll be there soon. We'll be here. Thanks, David. Uh, sorry? No, no, all good. Thank you so much. Okay. Dan, where were you driving for hours at Fout Lark? Israeli traffic. <laughs> um, yeah, so just a short drive took way too long. Um, my wife was, uh, was willing to drive for the occasions that I could participate in the Zoom. Um, usually when it's both of us, I'm the one driving. Uh, yeah, I remember quite a lot of you. Uh, you might remember that I left in the middle of Standard 6. Um, so time froze then, and now I see you again after 40-something years. You all look like your parents, uh, as I remember them. Um, yeah, so my parents dragged me to Israel uh, in 1980, and um, I've been living here happily ever after, uh, except for a short period of about seven years where the family and I were in uh, the Chicago area. I went to further my business a little bit, and then um, we were very lucky to bring all three kids back successfully as they were go going into university and starting their lives. It was important for us to get them all back to Israel so that we're all together. Uh, so I've got three soldiers at home some of the time. They're not home right now, but uh, they're all in the army. Um love the fact that this Jewish community, King David, 
everybody in the call is so pro pro Israel. I think that says says a lot for for King David. Unfortunately, I've met Jews elsewhere in the world that haven't been as pro as this group. So it's uh, I, I do feel a little bit more comfortable with the people around me here. Um, I uh, David, uh, I think we both uh, went for geekdom. So I ran a uh, small uh, software company. Um, I've actually also very recently taken out my ham radio license, David, so you need to get back into it so we can do uh, some uh, some chatting over the ham. And uh, yeah, open to questions, but uh, great to see all of you, particularly the ones that I remember more than others. Hey, Jody. I, I seem to remember that my parents told me we were related somehow through the Norse or something like that. To my family? Yeah. Do, do you know I, the I don't remember... Dan, no, I don't know who they are, but I remember coming to your bar mitzvah or, you know, us growing up together. And I don't think Stanley's still on the call, but um, when Laura, Stan and Dan, everybody seemed to be leaving more or less the same time in primary school, it was very sad. We missed you all. And great to see you. So you'll, you'll find at least Stan and I in Israel. Come visit. I would love nothing more. I've only been on Ulpan when I was 16. And when my daughter went on a gap year in 2013, uh, please God, we'll be back soon. Yalla, Daddy. Yalla, come on, Lou. come on. I'd love to, I'd love to rail. That would be my biggest dream. And to have you in Australia, Sydney sometime. You've got lots of mates here, I know that. Yeah, that's true. Please God. True. Thank you, Dan. It's, it's just a King David thing, no matter how long you were there for, you always remain a tight family. It's absolutely astounding. Belinda? Hi. You told her? Hi. Um, all right. Well, Chodesh Tov. Um, I'm Belinda Tankin, now Rakin. Um, it's so nice to connect with friends after 40 years. And I'm so grateful for the wonderful education and schooling that we had and the experiences that we shared. Um, after King David, I went to Wits, got a BA, LLB, got married to Stephen Rakin from Carmel, Durban. Um, I did my articles, had a baby, and got admitted to the bar. We then emigrated to the US, where we've lived for the past 31 years. Um, my husband trained as an orthopedic surgeon in Cleveland, after which he did fellowships in Oxford, England, and um, Baltimore, Maryland. So we've traveled around quite a bit. In 2000, we uh, moved to the Philadelphia suburbs and we've lived here for the past 23 years. <clears throat> During this time, I've had three wonderful children, a son, Daniel, 31, who was born in Johannesburg, a son, Jared, 28, born in Cleveland, and a daughter, Talia, born in Baltimore, and she's 25. I also have a 15-year-old dog, which I walk every day. Um, um, our children are all grown and uh, Baruch Hashem married to wonderful spouses. Um, all three got married um, within two years during COVID. So that was interesting. Um, we are very blessed to have all our couples living in the Philadelphia area. So uh, we see our kids often. Um, I also became a Boba two months ago. So I have a grandchild, granddaughter. Um, although I never really practiced law um, in the U.S., um, I volunteered a lot in the community. I was vice president of our Jewish day school, so Jewish education was something very important to me. Um, I also volunteered on the shul boards. Um, so um, I cannot change the world, but I try to be a good wife, mother, mother-in-law, Boba, daughter, sister, and friend. Um, we live in a lovely Jewish neighborhood with lots of uh, shuls, uh, Jewish day schools, kosher supermarkets, and restaurants. Um, I used to play men's squash league, but I stopped due to my aging knees. I now play pickleball and walk with friends. Um, I love entertaining and gardening. Um, and I've truly enjoyed reconnecting with old friends during the reunion process. And I really want to wish everyone um, success, health, and happiness in this crazy world. Laura, hi. 
Here we go. Uh, can you hear me? Hi, everybody. Yeah. Um, my voice is a bit croaky. I've got a little bit of a cold. Um, so I was uh, at King David the whole way through primary school, and then we did a little stint in Israel for, um, I think it was uh, Standard 5 and Standard 6. And then I came back to South Africa, and um, I, I was at uh, Victory Park until grade 11, and then I matriculated actually from Eden College. But I kind of felt that I never really left King David. Um, and I've always felt part of uh, the King David group and um, the people who live far away and those that even live close. Um, I've really always just felt that, you know, King David is, King David was my home. Um, I finished school and then I went on to study law. Um, I was also admitted and I practiced for a few years and then also started having children. Um, I've been blessed. Uh, we have four kids. Um, my eldest uh, is married and I'm a, a safety actually to a one-year-old just about to turn one. Um, my eldest Helena in fact is very involved in King David in the schools. She's um, at this stage she's head of the Department of Informal Jewish Education known as the Dij. So she takes um, just about all the kids on the Shabbatons that go through the system. Um, I've then got a son, uh, Ariel, who is 27. Helen is 29. Ariel's 27. Uh, he's married. And then I've got um, a 21-year-old who happens to be in Israel at the moment on a volunteering trip, um, which has been really amazing for him, obviously, a very different trip. Um, all my kids have done gap years in Israel through Benakiva. And then I'm still at school with my, my baby, who is 17. So we've got it like another 18 months at school. When I look at the faces, especially Jody, who I really haven't seen for so many years, um, but I always felt the connection because we were with Pammy, Jody's sister. And our girls kind of were at school together, and I would see Jody's parents. Um, I'm married to uh, also a wonderful man. He's a GP. His name's Colin Kahanovitz. And in fact, he's Gaby's cousin. And um, so there's that family connection. And um, I must say, thank God we've lived a beautiful, blessed life in Johannesburg. Um, we still very, we still love South Africa. Not still love South Africa. We love South Africa a lot. But our hearts are definitely in Israel and with Israel. And um, if we were to ever go anywhere, it would only be to Israel. Um, I know Rael actually also lives around the corner from my sister, who's been in Ranana for five years. Yep. But besides my sister, the entire family basically is still in South Africa. So that's all siblings, uh, nieces, nephews. One broke the mold and went to Australia about 18 months ago. But um, thank God our Shabbos, our Yom Tevim um, are are huge. <laughs> it's pressure about who's doing Yontif because thank God our table is very, very full. Um, I've also Colin's been blessed. brothers are here. Who, my nears? I say Colin's brothers are also here. Colin's brothers are here. Colin's sister is here. Um, and yeah, generally a lot of the extended family, all our nieces and nephews and the cousins have been lucky to grow up very, very close with their cousins and grandparents. So, um, you know, we feel blessed all around. I'll be married uh, 32 years this year, and we've been in the same house for 30 years. Um, so, you know, I kind of feel, yeah, just uh, about, uh, there's been a lot of abundant blessings. And it's been amazing to reconnect with people. I do see some of you from time to time, Nadia, Michelle, um, Gaby, um, I'm still in touch with Lorian. She's not on the she's not on the call. I'm not sure why, but um, I do see them. And um, it's just great that actually people think everybody's left South Africa, but it's not true. Um, as Rochelle said, uh, there are a lot of us still here, and um, our next door neighbors with Rochelle and with Tammy. She was Tammy Eisenberg, um, and. Yeah, things are, you know, if you look at things from the right perspective here, we really, we have a lot going. Um, I just also would like to say thanks to you, Gila, 
um, for coordinating all of this. As Raleen said, it seems like it's simple and it happens very quickly, but I know there's a lot of background work that goes into all of this, so thank you. And it's just really a joy to see everybody's faces and uh, hopefully one day we can reconnect in person. Um, there, there are lots of connections with, uh, with people's families um, that I have made over the years. Um, anyway, so somebody said, please God, we should all meet in Israel and maybe the next reunion we can plan for, for Israel somewhere. Ranana, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, um, it's kind of the center or the center of our world. And um, just been great to see you, to see everybody, hear your voices. So yeah, that's me. Thanks, Laura. I think Haley's out, so I'm not sure if she can hear us. Haley, are you there? I know she said it might be very windy, and it is so windy out here. Right, so everybody's had a chance to talk, right? Have I missed anyone? No, right. Alon. Alon heard. Did you speak? No, Alon's heard. You did, yeah? No, I'm not sure, Alon. No, I did. I'm not normally very talkative anyway, so. We'll force you. Yes. <laughs> Listen, you took long enough, to, or you struggled long enough to get on. You have to. Mm. All right, fair enough. Um, so I started at King David in grade one. Um, I was there till mid-76. We went to Israel for six years, came back end of standard eight in 82. Um, and it's interesting seeing some of the faces like Rail, uh, Jody, Lara, Dave Kramer, Paul Gamble. I remember from grade one, Avi Kaplan as well. And it was interesting coming back to King David, you know, end of Standard 8, and seeing so many faces that were familiar, a whole bunch of faces that were new as well. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed King David, the King David, you know, we had a, a nice group of friends. Um, a lot of them, you know, for, for a couple of years after school, we, you know, very strong bond. We did everything together. Um, always together, you know, going out on weekends, whatever it was. Um, and then slowly we started to drift, drift apart. Um, I got married, we came to Australia end of 2008 and was surprised to see Paul Gamble was here, Dave Kramer. Um, and there were quite a few familiar faces, some from Vitz, et cetera. And I remember... It was we, we'd been here for about two years and I was at the gym going regularly on a Sunday morning to a boxing class and there was a girl in the class and we started talking after a couple of weeks and she had a South African accent and I said you know where are you from she said no she's from Johannesburg so that's strange yeah, I'm from Johannesburg as well and what school did you go to she went to King David said, yeah that's strange I was there as well when did you matriculate she says 1984 and that's how I reconnected with Ashley Kahan <laughs> so we were in the same class for you know, standard nine and 10, but I didn't recognize her at gym. She didn't recognize me. So obviously we both changed. Um, but it's remarkable just to see, you know, when, when you do reconnect with people, um, that that connection is there. It is a strong connection. And, you know, it's as though, yeah, no time has passed. You know, the, the bond is still strong. I still keep in touch with with a few of the guys here. Um, yeah, Rosh moved here recently as well. I see him regularly, Mark Fraden. I catch up with Dave Kramer every now and then, Paul Gamble, Evan. So it's there is a strong bond and it's nice and it's really great to to be able to connect with everyone. That's it. Good. Thank you. That's it. Everybody unmute and then you can talk and you'll see it actually works quite well. Alon, I was going to say, I'd love to see a photo of you as a young kid or maybe you can circle your face because I don't remember you from grade one. Were you in Mrs. Love's class? I don't remember the teachers, unfortunately. Okay. Um, but there, there was a picture there that Gilla had um, yeah. and I was sitting in the front row next to 
Nikki Ofsovitz. Then it was Mrs. Love's class. Could have been. Yeah. Were you with I was... me and Mrs. Love, Ned, and with Nadine? Yeah, and Nadine. Okay. And okay, Robin. I'll have, a... I'll have a look. I, I, I was in remember. Mrs. Love's Nikki. class as well. Grade one and two. Yeah, yeah. Want me to put that photo up again quickly? Yeah. And yeah, the grade and one and two. Could... So you're sitting next to Nikki Ofsovitz. Who? Yeah, I think that was the I third in from the right. Uh, okay, Sins, you're showing me. I hope my sister-in-law is not giving you a hard time, Sins. My sister-in-law does events management in Cape Town, and she's planning a function through that. I'll talk to you another yeah, time. Yeah, big groups for next year. Yeah. Oh, good luck. I'm going to meet her. And She's coming here end of July, so I'll meet Wonderful, her. wonderful. Yeah. And Nadia always speaks so highly of you. So I, I know. Keep in touch. Really? She told me about you lot. Thank you. And you're a beautiful, beautiful family. Aura's a saint. Uh, Aura is wonderful, but I believe you are too. We're all blessed to have uh, such a supportive network. I think there are very few schools where people, you know, leave school and the, the legacies and the networks continue across the years and, and miles. You know, and, and Jody, you should put it, you bear in mind this network, you know, if any of your kids are here in Melbourne, uh, there's a concept called Zuchut Avot, the, the merit of the parents. And in the merit of the parents, you get a connection when you have children that are, you know, that need help or they're in another town and you should use that connection. That's what it's there for. So if you have any children that need anything in my world uh, or here in Melbourne, give us a shout. And, uh, and Lon, you also forgot to get, um, you forgot to mention Mike Flax, which I actually thought would be on the call. And... Um, uh, yeah. uh, I'm trying to think. Actually, David, I'm gonna, I actually have to I'm standing to the right. Of, Hi, Baba. Number eight. Slide eight. Laura, this is, is Love's class. I need, I need to leave as well. Thanks so yeah. much, everyone. Thank yeah, you. This is great. Thanks for coming, Ayla. Nice to see you all. Bye. 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 Is it this slide? Yeah, this is Mrs. Love's class. So this was our great two E. But there's right. a grade one. There's a different one, I think. But didn't we all go from grade one to grade two in Mrs. Love's class? We didn't no. change classes. No, we didn't change classes. We stayed yeah, we the same stayed class. the same. So, uh, so is this? Wait. This is so Mrs. Wait, Love's okay. class. This is grade two E. And then so there should be no... Where are you? I don't see me there unless there's... Uh... Let's go to the next one. No, this wasn't the class. This was yeah. TBB. No, but Alon, this isn't you, hey? Uh, there's something blocking the right-hand side of the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, I also don't know how to now? get rid of it. No, no it's, it's still, still there. Dead. I also can't no. get rid of it. It's like oh, a you know what it is. Now it's on the oh, other that, side. not me. Yeah, that's better. Go to, go to slide eight, okay, girl. No, go, go back one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's not Mrs. Okay. Love. Wait, go back to so the... I am second row between Brian and... Is that Guy? Yes. Oh, my word. Other side. Yeah, over here. Oh, Byron. Yeah. No, to the right. No, it's Byron Berlin. Uh, behind Melanie Cerebro. That's right? the yeah. That's Yeah. That's Brian, Guy, it's and Brian Lauren Gearing, in the middle. Brian Gearing, behind behind right. Melanie. And Lorian oh, in the front. Yeah, Lorian but in the this front. isn't Mrs. Love's class. Eh? This is this is Mrs. Helbrun's class. Yeah. 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 This is Helbrun's class. But That's me at the back. But yeah. next to Brian Amazing. Gearing, isn't that Paul Rubin? No, that's Guy Topolans. No, oh no, sorry, Brian Gearing. No. No. I don't know. And it's Guy Topolans is at the end. <laughs> right, he's yeah, at the end. I'm next to, I'm next to Guy. Yeah, that's Alon in the middle. That's what he said. Yeah. Amazing. Sure. Wow. wow. I see Brian Gearing here in Sydney from time to time as well. It was Hopefully. lovely to see him and catch up with him at our reunion that we yeah. had. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Incredible. Well, please send all the King Davidians in Melbourne. Please send them my love. I don't look them up if I'm in Melbourne. It's also a quick visit and often it's been for medical appointments with my daughters. So it's been quick. So, so And Alon. But if I'm there for longer next time, I'll let you know I'm in town. So hopefully we can connect. That would be good. Or if, you, if I happen to be in Sydney. Please do. Please call yeah. me. 
Yeah. Well, if you need anything, yeah, if you're reach in Melbourne, us, you, need a, you need somebody to schlep some, you need some, you know, you need to be schlepped somewhere or you need to borrow a car oh, or whatever it is. You. You, we you, are, you know. You. No, the network's strong. We've got, to, it's amazing. Yeah, really incredible. And Rochelle, um, Tracy's not on the call. But, no, um, I know. Gilla hasn't got the reunion photo that we had when Heldon Fryer was in town. It's uh, Russell and Holden and Tracy and I and and I can't remember Mike. Were you there? I can't remember who else. It was maybe one other person. It was terrific. Yeah, shame. She said she was going to come, but she just wasn't sure of the time. You know, it's because it was right. so late. Then, so yeah. of course, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah but it's and great to still happy. stay in touch with her. It's lovely to still be in touch with her, which is great. Oh. Really Tracy's happy Rich came from Perez. Yes, oh. correct, uh, correct. He's known me since I was in Nappies. A really amazing, amazing, incredible. Get back oh, to the don't you live near Karen? Karen Hershowitz. Yes, I do. I don't know where she yeah. is. Yeah, she's she very. Knows. Yeah, she's also around the corner from us. We all like in this, like little shtetl here in Woodmead Springs. Um, yeah. it's myself. It's Lara. It's Tammy. It's Karen. Um, yeah, I think the four of us from. From school, we all we all in the same same area, which is lovely. And our kids were all at school together, and all at at, at Victory Park together. So it was just stunning. It's also stunning. It's just like another connection. Belinda, I was impressed to hear you still playing. Was we're playing squash up to a point in time. <laughs> I always I, I, wondered about that. <laughs> I'm now on Belinda, my new preservation. <laughs> Belinda, I remember your squash as well because I was a keen squash player. Yeah, it was wonderful. Back and I started, days. Uh, be, I started the Beaconsfield squash. squash Club. Uh huh. And then I started oh, a squash was... team at the school and I taught my kids to play and um, it was wonderful. You it's know, a wonderful everybody sport busy and, I, and I out played, of trouble. Yeah. I played Those recently and I, I went to make a beer for squash. Oh, wow. I forgot my parents. My parents now uh, have been with us for the last 14 years. Um, we they, we had them immigrate from Victory Park to Philadelphia. Um, so they live with us in a carriage house on the property. So it's just wonderful to have all my family together. I know how hard it is. You know, I have a sister living in Sydney, another sister living in Israel. So we've paid the price for living the life we lived. Yeah, it's difficult to send your dad my regards, eh? I will do. I will do. And and my regards to your parents as well, Belinda. Yeah. And I have to say, Raoul, um, Raoul was an absolute darling. Um, not only did he stop in once to recently to see my parents, but 